welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the second um, Sunday. Welcome to church. You know, I remember when God told me, uh, and I've been, people, people know me that I always tell them that anything about church, me starting a church, and uh, I don't think God can do that for me. And I remember when God told me that today, I need to start a church. I said, eh? I didn't hear very well. So I needed to start a church. And I, the God has said, relax, you already have a church. Just for you to gather them on that one umbrella. And so we have what we call the unchurched church. Because that's what that's our focus on the unchurched um, church. And the essence is to reach out to people who are, who are who people really, really don't see as what they need to reach out to people who don't go to church. So every Sunday like this, we have this platform that we call Short Word with Prophet Debola I know. And the essence is just to share the word of God, drop the word of God in your spirit, and then charge them. Yes, I know uh, some have gone to church uh, before now, some have. Um, listen to uh, their pastors, but I always I always tell people I listen to a lot of people, a lot of pastors apart from my, my father, and uh, the Holy Spirit has a way of dropping one or two words uh, in our hearts, and that's where short words come in. With five ten minutes we are done, so and it's important for you also let help us share our materials. It's not cost to anything. Uh, we're still in the new year, so let me also welcome you to new year, even though this is the second Sunday of the uh, year. What has God done for you? I remember last year, last year to be precise, uh, December 28th, I almost died. I almost had an accident. I don't know what happened. Something just happened and then I stumbled or whether they pushed me, somebody pushed me. But some, so some uh, a personality stops me, and then the devil, the, the 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 guy with the jeep on the express will swap to the other side. Now I I can tell you that I did not I I I looked very 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 well, but something hit my leg or something pushed me that I had to I was like going to the I was on this ex, the second the second lane on the express road, and something stopped me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, I, you and I have a reason to learn to trust God. Trust God, especially in this new year. Trust God. The Bible says, trust God with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. This is a new year. In your business, trust God to help you uh, push your business beyond where it is today. Trust God. To give you ideas, you know, and sometimes people ask me, we are only doing, we are only doing as I must do because there's a personality to which I trust, and that's the person of the Holy Spirit. They whisper some things to me, even though some most of the time those things are ridiculous to me. Most of the time, those things are ridiculous to people. But but the fact that is this, he said I should do it, and I'm doing it. I have no choice than, than, than to do it. In your marriage, also trust him. To help you. Now you need to understand. This is the last days, and that's why we see pandemic here, pandemic there, lockdown there, lockdown there. Any wise Christian wouldn't be surprised, shouldn't be shocked by all these happenings. The virus there, virus there. You know, there's a new wave of another. The, the, I don't know what they call it now. It's still the same as COVID-19, but another dimension to it. So, trust God. I would say trust God with all your hearts. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Acknowledge, know that He is the only one that can help you go through whatever you are going through right now. You know, sometimes I talk like this to people, people always feel that I don't have problems. I have a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of challenges here and there throwing you know, bombs at me. But I have a personality that I, it doesn't joke with me. And that's God. And that's God. So, as you go through this week, in this second Sunday, learn to trust God. Not men. Bible says the arm of flesh will fail you. Learn to trust God. Learn to trust God. I'm saying it again. Learn to trust God. Learn to trust God. Not man. Not your husband. Not your wife. Not your uncle. Not your auntie. Not your, not your, not your colleagues. Not anybody. First of all, trust God. 
and the Lord will bless you. Have a wonderful week in Jesus' name.